Maui. Yay. Hi. <laughs> Pico, are you fighting? Huh? Sit down. Hey, Pico. It's a meal to you, isn't it? Look at that. Wow. Look at that, Pico. Right? Yeah, this is take two, same take I tried to do yesterday. And for whatever reason, it was out of focus. Hey guys, welcome back. The last few days I've been trying, been trying for the longest time to uh, help Pico, turning Pico, my chihuahua, mixed chihuahua dog, to becoming a hog dog making him uh, ride with me, trying to see if he wants to ride with me. You can buy these carrying cases or dog mounts for the motorcycle, but they're like $200. So before I even went ahead and tried, you know, spending $200 to see if the dog, if Pico will want to ride with me, I said, I got to figure something out. So the other day I actually found uh, one of the neighbors left outside near the garbage, a uh, little carrying case. <laughs> little carrying case for you know for traveling carry on on the airplane i took it and rigged it set it up so it's connected with bungee cords connected to the back uh, i cut a little opening out in the back so he can stick his head out over here i made a little opening so i can run i can run uh his leash through this inside held in with a, a nice tight uh, harness so he doesn't jump out and we did actually a first run first one was funny a few days ago my wife helped me out uh, we just put him first in the bag in the basket itself i used the pillow the green pillow that is his favorite pillow so he feels comfortable i put it inside here and then we let him sit there for like 10 minutes the whole time we were standing near him then i started the engine and let it run so he gets used to the smell to the vibrations to the noise everything and then I actually went around and started riding with him, like all around uh, in the parking lot, up and down the alley for like five, 10 minutes for him to get used to it. He pretty much, he, he liked it. First steps of making Pico a hog dog, trying to get him used to my motorcycle. Not showing any resistance. Look at him. Look at the smile. That's it. The day after that, we did the same thing local. He got more comfortable. And third day is today. I took him for uh, the uh, ride where I actually documented it and put the 360 camera. It came out pretty cool. And I think I think we're turning Pico into a real hot dog. Initially, I started on the Royal Enfield, which is a 350cc. It's a quiet bike. Once he gets used to the sensations, to the speed, to the uh, scenery, you know, because he likes to bark at other dogs, kind of feisty. So as we were riding, he was barking at dogs as well. And once he gets used to this bike, I'm going to hop, uh, I'll make him ride the, the real hog. So... <laughs> camera the 360 camera over here and Pico and that's my wife yeah she does exist you guys know don't never seen her but she's here she's a real thing and we're gonna go we're gonna go get uh, we forgot I forgot Pico his green his green uh, uh, pillow that you love right we'll go get it we'll get it so you feel comfortable so we got we got the pillow that's his favorite pillow one of the favorite pillows we got a lot of favorite pillows all right hey Pico I'm here to walk you with them. Dog? Yeah. So I make sure that he's all tied in. So even if he really wants to jump, there's no way you're jumping, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> no way you're jumping. Mm. Yeah. Pico. Okay, Pico, are you ready for, to go Bye for a little guys, ride? Are you ready to go for a little ride? Yeah. Okay. We'll go for a fun ride. <laughs> you look like a little... <laughs> like stuffed cabbage. You look oh, like stuffed okay. cabbage. Here. Yeah, let's just make sure that he's. Hey, Pico. Hey, Pico. Hey, what are you doing back there? Huh? Yeah, let's go for a ride, okay?
enjoying this up till now? Yeah. So, I am okay, okay. Okay, okay. It's okay for you? Yeah? Good dog, good dog. We'll turn around and I'll go home, okay? I don't want to push it too much, okay? I don't want to push it too much because I don't know his tolerance levels. So every day we'll do a little bit and a little bit more. So until he gets really comfortable riding with me, you know? Oh, we didn't go far, we went like five minutes away. But I want him, I want him, I want him to feel comfortable. Let's go here, okay? This is a nice little street. Okay, people? Yeah. Yeah, good dog. I tell you, I say that went pretty well. I think that went pretty well. Huh, Pico? Did you like it? Did you like it? I liked it. Yeah. Let's see. I think I see. How's the boy? Achla. Hey. Kriyoto. Take him and I'll take the leash off. No, just take the dog. Take Pico. 
And he has his bestie, his best friend waiting for him over here. So, hey guys, thank you for watching. That's little Pico over there. He's uh, he represents Holy Shift, right, Pico? Holy <laughs> Shift. <laughs> what a sweetie. Now this is his. Let me show you his best friend. Okay, literally his best friend. That's Gio, his bestie. Hey Gio, hey Gio. You've seen them together already, right? He came, he came to see me when I was doing working on my bike the other time. That's Brooklyn over there. Hey there. Look at that. He's like jumping to the window here to look. Gio. Gio, look. Look at Sandy. Oh, here. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. This is how close the deer come to our house. That's why my dog, the Pico, nibbles on their poop. <laughs> They're so close. This is out of the window. He's looking at me. Yep, you see me? A young buck. <laughs>